everybody, it's Melissa from Buckeye Girls Reason Things. Welcome to my YouTube and VP page. Um, thanks for joining me. We're going to be, I'm going to show you how to make some pumpkins. Velvet pumpkins. I used a two thrift store shirts and cut them into you can I used just things I had around the house as my circular pattern and used a rotary cutter and cut the fabric in circles you choose the size you want this size equaled this size pumpkin this size equaled this size pumpkin that's what I did first like I said, you got patterns all over your house, all kinds of circles. And uh, and then I ended up with, well, where it is? Uh, where is it? Okay, where is it? Oh, those are the ones I sewed at the bottom. Where's the other one? Where is the circle? Since it was a shirt, oh, here it is. And then you have, of course, a good thing is circles aren't, aren't my circles aren't perfect. And the good thing is, is neither are pumpkins. So you start out with your circle. And of course it rolls because it's velvet. But, uh, and I'm not a seamstress, so I apologize for those seamstress out there. You get, have my apology because I think I flunked seamstress 101. Heck, I flunked high school, high school sewing, so I'm not the perfect. I could use all the sewing people's help in the world. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I still have a sore throat and a migraine. I don't think I'm ever going to get over this craziness. I don't know whether I dehydrated myself when I was sick or what, but I just can't seem to get shake this stuff. I li lived for almost a week on an oatmeal. Just didn't even feel like eating. And you know, us fat girls, when we don't eat, it's a bad sign. I'm just making a good knot because the last time I did it I didn't get it my knot big enough and it pulled through and that wasn't a good thing so make sure you put a really big knot on the end of your thread and then you just go around your circle so how are you doing Kathy and just do a little just up and down and it doesn't have to be anything fancy I try to keep it about the same way all the way around but you go all the way around and do like a pleating stitch So you just take it, see there's my needle. Oh, good night, I don't know if you can see it. Like that, and then you just go about an inch in and go pleat, 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 all the way around. See, there's your needle. Just pleat it in about a half inch all the way around. Oh, and I forgot the fiber fill. Dang it. Knew I was forgetting something. 
go out and grab it. Hey, Kathy, I guess you're the only, it'll be me and you, girl. I'm supposed to go live on YouTube, and it, it wouldn't let me go live. I don't know what the deal was with that. So, I decided that I'd uh, go live here. Surprise, surprise, I'll go live here. And you make like a mini purse. See the little purse? Yeah, all we have to do is get a handle on it, and you might be able to get a half a tube of lipstick in there. I have to get my fiber bill. Okay, I use the polyfiber fill, like this, and uh, and then I just push it in, like here. take and you pull it shut hi Sandy I'm just making some baby pumpkins then I'm gonna start pulling it shut like that I just take and do a couple stitches across to close it. Yes, doctor, we must close. Because I don't want to close it too good because I did that the last time and I didn't do my stem. Okay. I'm sure you can figure out what this is. Where did this come from? Y'all, if you do floral, you know where this come from. This is just a piece off of a floral stem. And I cut it off like this. Ah, uh, girl, I ain't feeling that great, but... I still got an earache and a migraine. I just seem like I can't get rid of this migraine. And then I'm going to just wrap it with floral tape. Just like you've seen me do a million projects with floral tape. I'm not sure whether I got the brown at uh, Hobby Lobby or at Dollar Tree, but I like the brown better. And then I just stick this in the center of the pumpkin. That's why I said don't don't uh, do too well on on selling this shut because we're gonna glue that stem in there. And then I'm gonna just take my thread, take my thread and do through, and do a final knot. But since this is a shirt, I used. I used two shirts as uh, my uh, as my pumpkins, and these these are the ones I cut out of the front of the shirt and the back of the shirt and made circles. But you also have the arms, so I'm going to show you how to use. Well, you could use the the like 
plaid shirts for guys. Oh, you hot glue it in too, but I, I, I haven't done that yet. You have the arms of the shirt. Okay, you have the arms of the shirt like this. See? And I just cut the arms as big as I want my pumpkin to be. Like this. Because, you know, this was two shirts from the thrift store that I got for cheap that was brand new that probably grandma or, or mom got for Christmas and she didn't like because it, it wasn't her style. But it'll be pretty for my pumpkins. Okay, so you got this. Now what? Now you just do the same running stitch along the bottom. And then you take it through. And I told you to make sure that knot was big enough. Well, I didn't listen to my own advice. You know, you can pick up sweaters. You can pick up really neat designed shirts that was what is really neat designed for your pumpkins. But that don't mean you want to wear them. And uh, this is this is the project because you know fabric and velvet pumpkins is all the thing for your wreaths, your centerpieces, your decor right now. So this is an easy way. And then I just go back through to make them out of a, maybe an old shirt that you you wore that uh, maybe the arms is wore out or whatever, but it's still a cute color and it would match your decor. That'd be perfect for this. You could even do, if you wanted to, you could even do a, a shirt that was a loved one that passed away. And then you turn it inside out and you have this. You have this. It looks like a little hat. Hey, Johnny. And I'm going to add some fiber fill to it. I couldn't get on YouTube for some reason. It wouldn't let me on. I don't know what the deal was with that. So I guess I ain't going live on YouTube. I guess we're, I'll learn I just have to share to YouTube. And I always get the needles with the great big eyes because I can't see. That always helps a little bit. Good morning, Shauna. Welcome to YouTube. Hi Johnny, welcome to YouTube. Glad you found my YouTube channel. Welcome to YouTube. My YouTube channel wouldn't let me record. Isn't that crazy? So, uh, 
I'm live from here instead. Okay, this is simple. And like I said, I'm not a seamstress, so so some of you all would probably do these much better than I do. But the good but but the God's blessing is is pumpkins aren't perfect and my sewing is far from it. But I'm just doing a running pleating stitch around my pumpkin. And as I do it, I'm trying to push my, my stuffing down in. Every now and then I'll overstuff. It's okay to have overstuffed burritos, but it ain't okay to have an overstuffed pumpkin. Just say. Hey, Deborah. I'm making a fabric pumpkin. And I'll just go and continue this running stitch all the way around. Actually, we're, Deborah, we're planning a trip out toward June this fall. We decided we wanted to go back out to Massachusetts again. Hadn't been out there for a while. Okay. And now, where is that? little piece of oh my goodness okay look at go Perfect. this is just a piece of floral stem <laughs> we'll be coming in October and we'll have the camper but this is just a piece of a floral stem Actually, it was cut off this one, I think. And it's something you throw away. You know, you hear designers say, oh, keep the floral stems. And you wonder, what in the what am I going to use those for? Well, this is it. And then I take just brown floral tape. And I just wrap it with the floral tape to make it look more pumpkin-y. Then I'll insert that in the center and I'll glue it in. And that's our baby pumpkins. I gotta, all I have to do is take this and I do it, the end, I just tie it in a knot and that's it. That's your baby pumpkins. And you can make them as big, as little as you want. And this is just out of a thrift short, a thrift store shirt or a shirt you have lying around the house that you don't want to wear anymore or doesn't fit or just isn't your style anymore. Makes the perfect fall. Either velvet, you could use an old, uh, old flannel shirt, whatever. It's the perfect pumpkin for your decor. Be for wreath, centerpiece, in a, in a, basket in your entryway whatever oh sean i'd love to come to california actually i was we were out uh, deborah you know what happens when melissa comes out your way you know what happened the last time last time we were out towards deborah hurricane sandy hit so, uh, you know, it may not be safe. You may want to go on vacation somewhere else, girl. You may just want to go on vacation somewhere else when I tell you when we're coming. Because the last time we came out to, to Massachusetts, we went, we, we went up the coast. Massachusetts and Maine all the way. Hurricane Sandy hit. So, uh. So, since you're my friend, Deborah, I'll let you know when I'm coming so you can get all prepared. 
<laughs> Barb, if you need help with a group with your group, you just let me know. I'll be glad to help you. I ha this is the second group I've ran, and I will be glad to help you, girlfriend. You just let me know. Uh, we can FaceTime or whatever. <laughs> Okay, have a good day. I hope this helps, and I hope somebody decides they want to make some pumpkins. This is Melissa from Buckeye Girls Reason Things, and uh, have a good day, and keep on crafting, guys. Bye.